Uh, good evening, everyone. Request uh, all to be seated. Uh, we're starting the proceedings of the evening. Uh, it's my absolute privilege and honor to welcome all of you today evening to our building. Uh, it's also a special occasion because uh, we are here to commemorate the launch of a special book and, uh, uh, you know, hear the man himself as to how this entire journey evolved. But before that, I just wanted to quickly, you know, uh, re-encapsulate our journey of wealth creation for our clients. The first uh, portfolio strategy was launched in 2003, which we called, called the Value PMS. Now, this was a strategy launched to identify extremely high quality companies which can create wealth for our clients over a period of time. And uh, since then, you know, our philosophy has been to buy, buy extremely high quality companies which have very high visibility of growth and sit tight on them and see them create wealth for our investors. In fact, when I look at, when I look at the results, they are actually quite unbelievable. I mean, this strategy over the last uh, 12 years has multiplied client wealth almost 20 times now. And uh, when we look back, we sometimes uh, feel scared as well because, you know, this really sets the benchmark and expectations for all clients who come into this strategy. Now, just to give you a perspective on what it actually means, in the same period, the benchmark has returned, you know, nine times your money, eight and a half times actually. And uh, this is in spite of a 17% compounded return. The strategy has actually returned 28%. Now, on the face of it, you know, 17 and 27 or 28 percent may seem like a dis difference of only 9 or 10 percent compounded, but in absolute amounts, the, amo the, the difference is huge because if you had put in a crore in the index, you would have been sitting on 9 crores today, but whereas in this strategy, you would be sitting on close to 19 crores. So, the strategy has generated 10 crores of additional wealth, and uh, that's the power of uh, managing equities and buying extremely high quality companies, sitting tight and, you know, watching them grow your money. The second strategy we launched in 2007, and again, this was uh, through one of our frameworks that, you know, Ramdeji will discuss today with all of you, which was that, you know, it took 60 years for India to reach the first trillion dollar of economy, right? The next trillion dollars we've seen in hindsight now has taken only eight years. So this uh, strategy was launched in 2007 when the first trillion dollars of our GDP was reached because we believed that the next trillion dollars of GDP will be the consumer's uh, era. And this, this strategy was launched to capture these, this big opportunity which will be consumption led. And you know this was also launched at the peak of the markets. You know, and, and again, this is in hindsight. Uh, after we launched the strategy, actually the markets fell and the, the capital eroded by 60%. But still, over the last eight years, this strategy has multiplied investor wealth four times. And this translates into a 17% compounded return. In fact, from the bottom, you know, the strategy, like I said, fell almost 55-60% uh, from the peak. From the bottom, this strategy is multiplied almost 10 times. Again, this, the philosophy was uh, uh, the same to buy uh, quality companies, but in the mid-cap space, because the value strategy looks at only companies that have already emerged, uh, are, do have a regular profit track record, and are blue chips by the time we buy them. So this was launched to capture companies in the mid to small cap space, and as you can see, uh, the results are astounding again. Now, if you know, you've, you've missed investing at the beginning of any of these strategies or at the inception, because I know we have uh, uh, quite a few customers uh, uh, today who have been with the value strategy since the beginning, since the launch in 2003, but uh, not all of you may have invested at the, at the inception of the strategy. Uh, we have something for all of you. Uh, we are looking at another large opportunity uh, unfolding in front of our eyes. And we believe that, you know, like I mentioned, the last trillion dollar uh, took only seven or eight years. The next trillion dollars of our economy is going to take only four years. And this is because of the power of compounding. So we are looking at launching the third strategy from our uh, asset management company, which is going to be called the India Opportunity Portfolio. Now, this uh, uh, portfolio is going to look at 
capturing the evolving uh, uh, you know space over the next four five years it'll be a multi-cap pms so we'll be market cap agnostic we will look at companies across large mid and the small cap space more importantly it will again be focused like our earlier strategies which means that we will not have uh, 17 to 18 stock ideas and most of the companies that we will we will buy uh, we will uh, sit on it for long periods of time and watch them create wealth, wealth like we have done in the earlier two strategies. Now, uh, sorry. Yeah, so the, the three broad themes which we believe uh, are, are likely to emerge over the next few years, one of them is this huge uh, uh, you know, opportunity which will be created through the revival of the investment cycle. Uh, the government has laid out almost a trillion dollars of spend on infra. Similarly, there is a huge thrust by this government to uh, get more and more companies to manufacture in India. That is the make in India opportunity. Thirdly, we believe that the consumption opportunity continues to be an ongoing opportunity which, which we will also try to capture through this portfolio. So this is a portfolio that will be available uh, and uh, you know we will come and meet you and discuss further details on this portfolio. And like I said, this will again follow the same framework uh, that we use for all our investment strategies. That is the QGLP framework, uh, the quality, growth, longevity, price. Now this framework seems very uh, commonsensical and simple to understand, but this framework has taken more than two decades to evolve. And uh, uh, all our wealth creation studies, I mean the first, we started the wealth creation study in 1996, and uh, all these wealth creation studies have tried to capture some aspect of this QGLP philosophy. And we are very fortunate and privileged uh, to have the man himself who's been responsible for the 19th wealth creation study and responsible for this QGLP framework. Uh, I present to you Mr. Ramdev Agarwal, uh, stock market legend and our guru uh, to take you through his entire journey of stock market investing of 35 years and to give us insights of how these 19 wealth creation studies have evolved and, and finally cul culminated in this QGLP LP framework. Uh, the book will be made available to you after, after, after the presentation. And uh, you know, I think the book captures uh, uh, in a very succinct manner all the learnings that, that, that he has uh, evolved over this last 35 years. So we are really blessed to be able to uh, capture these, these learnings through a very, very concise book. So with that, uh, I hand over the stage to uh, Mr. Agarwal to take us through uh, his, his journey of wealth creation.